Hi everyone. Hello. Happy New Year. We are back on Mars, kind of. Well, in the Paradox Studio. <laughs> I don't want to be on Mars. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, when it's like all nice and everything, yeah. I would want to be on Mars, but not as the first citizen who's gonna <laughs> cry and and moan. Yeah. yeah. No, but have you heard about the uh, wait? Oh, let me let's let's, let's introduce let's introductions. <laughs> <laughs> introductions <first. laughs> anyway, I'm Susie, the community manager for Surviving Mars, and this is I'm Nikki. I'm a producer working on Surviving Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Pointing and at <laughs> this is the start of our weekly Let's Plays where we just want to go through the game in its full glory and show off all the bits, bugs and all, because we're on hot code. Yes. Um, but yeah, go into your story. What are you saying? Oh, uh, can I, b before I say, we'll go a bit slower. Yeah. So we won't have specifics to show, but we'll just go slower through the whole process. Yeah. But the, what I wanted to say is like when er, uh, people discovered other countries first mm -hmm. and they went full on cannibal mode. Cannibal? Just remember, think of that on Mars, all cannibal mode. Wow! But didn't they do that when they went to that cold place somewhere? In oh, they did, yeah. I think it was Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nova Scotia. That's where they went, and that's where they I ate each other. Or I think it was a plane that crashed. It could oh also yeah, be. and they got all cold and hungry, and then yes. decided to munch each other for yes. lunch. But that's that's what I meant. That could happen <laughs> in Mars. I don't want to be the first one to do that. <laughs> All right. Knorr says, no Mars. On Mars, no one can hear you munch on human flesh. Yes. And wow. that's it's good to eat human flesh as long as you just don't eat the brains. I heard. Right. Well, I will file that for future <laughs> use. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to start with a new game. Let's do it. So I can um, start with the mission sponsor. Great. Who do we like? So I heard that people would like to know about how the difficulty settings in this game works. Yep. So as you can see here, we have the difficulty bonus. Mm -hmm. uh, with each uh, sponsor, it rises. Our most difficult sponsor is uh, uh, Paradox, of course, but you <laughs> have to unlock that. You do. And for that, you they have to sign up, right? Yeah, they That's do. It's a sign up bonus. Yeah. Yep. So uh, if you sign up, yep, you get the uh, Paradox. Website? Yeah, you get the hardest difficulty. Uh, otherwise, you have to deal with Russia, uh, and uh, they have some of their uh, good things and some of their bad things. But uh, what do you want, uh, Susie? What do you want to be today, or want to be sponsored by? Uh, I kind of want to be sponsored by Europe. Yeah, I like Europe. They give me uh, money when I discover stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, and then we go to the other uh, aspect at the beginning that will uh, affect your difficulty bonus and that's of course the commander profile what do you usually go for i usually go for the inventor mm -hmm. because that gives me the autonomous hubs which uh, what that is is that there you will have your uh, hub building that controls your drones that will be uh con what do you call it it won't need energy and it won't need maintenance best thing ever but We've had a bit of a bug here, so I don't think this one works yet. <laughs> well, it worked and then it had a bug, so I'm not going to show that one. Okay. Um, That's fair. Yeah, because otherwise it's you have a one of you have a hi very high difficulty setting without the extra benefit. Yeah. All right. So then we can go as something else. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Or we can have the bonus behavioral shaping unlocked. Well, I usually like to go for the psychologist because my uh, <laughs> my people <laughs> tend to go insane. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> gosh. I've what do you do with them? them? Well, it's probably best not to ask. <laughs> hey, what did I do? What did oh, you I went all the way beginning? back. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so we went for the Urup. And then, yeah, so when you go for the psychologist, because that's uh, easy mode, easier mode, apparently, uh, you get 10% off of your uh, difficulty. Now we're gonna do a nice little logo. This has nothing to do with difficulty. This is just how all of your yeah, how buildings you and everything will be branded. So because we like... I like Mr. Handy. Mr. Handy, yeah. Oh, I wanted to go hashtag. <laughs> 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 are we allowed to... Um, <laughs> are we gonna choose a mystery today? Will uh, this run until uh, after? Yeah, this the is tour? gonna. Yeah, okay, this cool. will run until after. So, so let's go for one. What do you want? Uh, uh, tell, uh, ask the audience. What sounds the most exciting? Because these are all references to uh, sci science fiction stuff. 
Indeed, so they have to choose from Artificial Intelligence, The Power of Three, The Dredges, Inner Light, Mars Gate and Spheres. Yes, we can't say anything about the content, but you can choose what sounds pr the coolest. Yeah. So if you have a pick. Random? Jeez. Yeah, Mars oh, Gate. Mars Gate. Oh. Yeah, that seems to be getting... Okay, we're going to go for the Mars Gate. The Mars Gate has one, sadly. Yep. Oh, are you sad about that? I like it. I like it, but I have a favorite. What's your favorite? It's the Spheres. Yes, there's Mr. Steer. Or spheres. Sir. Yeah. No, there's plenty of votes for Spheres. Do we want Spheres? I kind of want Spheres. Uh, well, someone says Rick, let's go for Mars Gate. Yeah, let's go for Mars Gate. All right. To be fair, that was the one that kind of came up the most. Yeah, that's true. All right, so it's Mars Gate now. <laughs> I won't tell you anything about what happens in Mars Gate, but... Uh, uh, you will see. Yes, you'll see. Yeah. I've had a lot of pains with Mars Gate and ESRB, but that's a different story for another time. Okay. So now we come at the uh, the payload screen. Yeah. And this is where you can choose how you will initially, ch you know, land. What you'll land with. Yes. What goodies you get to, yeah, exactly. to bring out. And the yeah. thing is, even though uh, this matters very much uh, initially, you can still write after, which I realized when a um, viewer actually said this, why won't you just send another rocket immediately? <laughs> I was like, ah, yeah, that's possible. Mm. So we can look into this, w what we want. But uh, for now, we're going to take what's uh, a uh, pre... What do you call it? When you have a predetermined thing when you choose Europe. Uh, what else? Yeah, the rest. Well, whatever. We will get. We will get the next one. Yeah. Soon. All right. So this one, of course, also determines the difficulty setting, because we haven't chosen the uh, most difficult sponsors and uh, commander profiles. We won't have the absolute highest difficulties, but we can try. We can go for. So apparently, uh, Robin went all the way to four hundred and sixty really? percent difficulty. Wow. Yeah. So uh, I I was dying at 190. And, but and you can also go down to like seriously easy as well. Oh yeah. yeah. If you just want to, yeah. if, if you, you just want to be like a bit creative and yes. have like an easy game, then go for that. But yeah. So if you look at these uh, little things, these are supposed to be uh, easy uh, spots. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is, is because you will have lots of metal, lots of concrete, lots of water and not a lot of threats. Yeah. So that's why these places are a bit easier. And if I'm correct, Arabia Alpha or whatever is an actual place in Mars. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I mean, there's actually a few spots on this map that are completely accurate and the difficulty rating actually suits the ground. So like yes. on Pavonis Mons, it's super difficult because, you know, building on top of a mountain is not exactly going to be... What is it called? Pavonis Mons. Where, where is that? Ooh, do you know <laughs> where that is? Let's go over there. Serenium Alpha. <laughs> that sounds so cool. Yeah, but I, I love the way that you can turn the map. and Yeah. And you don't have to just select the sites that are already marked out for you. You can go pretty much anywhere. Do we want high difficulty? Low difficulty? What do you want to do? Last time you were like difficulty. Yeah, but the thing is... <laughs> high difficulty is... <laughs> the thing is, I usually use cheats. <laughs> it <laughs> comes with the job. But uh, here, I can't use cheats. So Why do we want you go to suffer? For we can suffer. We can suffer. It's good to suffer. And then we can ask the audience for advice on how to play. Because they all know, because they've all played it. Exactly. Except that they haven't. They haven't. <laughs> and then they can be like, oh, I think this will be a good decision. And I will do it. And then it will be the worst decision. Oh, there's Elysium month. Let's see. Uh, let's get a bad place. <laughs> so, oh, wait. We can make a custom one. So, where do you wanna, what do you want to call it? I don't know. I, I when I have to think of something, I get a bit of a brain dead mo motion. So that's fine. That's hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off to a fantastic start. <coughs> You're supposed to <laughs> <laughs> fill in coordinates. <laughs> you have seen that I have never used that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's. Uh, I want to find a place with <laughs> lots of threats. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> You okay, you're I need funny. A, I need to find a place with lots of threats. Okay, cold waves are really good and meet your threat. Uh, yeah, your we're getting a uh, request for some place with lots of meteors. Oh yeah, let's do that. Ooh, here, we have full on meteor, full on cold wave. Yep. And uh, okayish dust storms, but I never like dust storms anyway. Cool. And then uh, okayish metals, concrete, and water. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Excellent. Excellent. 
Excellent, Smithers. I am so uh, full of anticipation for what our colony is going to look like. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's going to be good. Yeah, that depends on uh, how we're going to play. How how well we can play while the eyes are watching us. <laughs> okay, so this is the grid. <laughs> yeah. The first grid. Where do we want our stuff to be put? So if you see these white spots, mm -hmm. these are frozen places. If you build near that, uh, you will require a lot more energy. Yeah. So uh, that's what I uh, what I did last time. It was not very fun. Okay. Mm. So where do we want? Do we want to continue researching here? Uh, let me use this. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Oh, and we have a spot for concrete already. That's yeah, good. And, and lots of metal as well. Nice. Very, uh, this was all in the plan. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> and uh, the cool thing is, like with right now, um, you are able to explore without having actual sensors ready yeah. on Mars because uh, Earth is watching over your shoulders. So you can already put these um, read sec sectors or select them and they will slowly uh, read it but it won't be as fast as actually building the little lasers yeah all right so we had an explorer poop oh yeah wrong button let's explore that put this uh, fast on this you can of course play it on slow but nobody has time for that so let's play it on fast <laughs> uh, and then this tells me i don't have any active research so we can uh, research this stuff already because Earth, uh, of course, is uh, researching stuff with us. The good thing about Europe is you will get five extra um, technologies already discovered, so you can choose something cool. So, uh, do we want a big farm? Do we want what do we want? Do we want do we want more funds? Uh, I think let's go for f farming. So, That's we've got cool. some food. Do we want more transport? I always take more transport. Yeah. Can I change them? Poop. <laughs> well, I, I, the faster button would have been some. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Uh, so. But okay, because and no, and the faster. Uh, the fuel would be half with this one, which is really nice because uh, then you can have a constant. Yeah, you can rotation of rockets. Perfect. Lots of supplies. Yes. What else do you want, Susie? Tell me. Hmm. That, that sounds interesting, especially yes. as we've got cold spots. Yeah, and I think that our water discovery w will be close to the cold spot. Yeah. So it's good to have this so that we can. Yeah. So that we don't use that much energy. Oh, and then a little uh, moisture vaporizer boost. Yeah. Always right. good. Yeah, and then we have to wait for Earth to slowly discover things, and then until then, let's have our second rocket. Yay! <laughs> Do you have that little thing where you can say yay? I don't even know if it's on. So since we don't have rovers, let's take a rover. Let's take a transport yep. to do all the mule work. Um, Should we get extra concrete? Because yes. we're in a place which has low... Oh shit, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Let's take some tin concrete for now. Oh, ooh, no food. No. Polymers? Yes. Lots of machine polymers. Oh, the good stuff. Do we want anything else from here? Um, moisture repressor? No. Fuel refrain? No. No. We have everything. I think we've got the things we need. Let's take some more of these and then launch. As you can see, I didn't uh, fully load my rocket. I didn't because I don't really know what I want. So uh, <laughs> using up all my money seems a bit. Yeah, we can save it for later. Yeah. And so once we have colonists we can send them out to find rare metals so we can make some money back mm -hmm, mm -hmm. very true and you you're like oh why are my drones not working <laughs> well i am glad you asked because now we have we don't have in uh, depot to put the little resources so once you have a depot they will start working but you have to be careful of this little ring of work yeah otherwise the area of selection or how would you call it and it's good as well because you can you can make that smaller so it's more focused yes, definitely. as well, which is a really good asset. Yeah, sometimes you don't want them to walk all over the other place, then you are like, yeah. zoop, but we want them to be everywhere. Do you? Yay! He's already... 
analyzing stuff, getting our little, uh, as you see, our uh, analyzation of the uh, mystery was that we got a thousand research bonus. So now we already have our half, uh, our boost for the transport. Great. Excitement. So now we can go to the next thing. What do you want? What do you want? Mm. There, do, do you know of a notebook where it's like, what do you want? <laughs> that means... <laughs> That's what I want to ask. I like this one, where they move faster. Cool, I like it. It means one. we can build a bit quicker. Yes. And then we have a concrete thing that we need to build. Yeah. Because concrete is one of the better things at this game initially to build. And I heard some stuff of like, why would you want to have concrete in the ship? And then send that to uh, Mars. But I, I'm not sure if... I think it's like the powder that they send to Mars and then build it. Yeah. I don't think they actually take the full-on concrete. And that would be... Well, that would be incredibly heavy. Yes. and that w So that's not what they do. No. But you would need uh, concrete or regolith or however you pronounce it uh, to build your initial stuff. You would need something to build your initial stuff. This, I say, as a certified scientist that I am, of course... Yep. Hear my knowledge. And uh, red worm. No, we're not resorting to cannibalism just yet. There's no humans here. <laughs> <laughs> but we can. <laughs> that comes later. <laughs> there's this little there's this little research thing that makes your humans into vegetables. Uh-huh. <laughs> so then technically you're performing cannibalism. Oh so daring. But I think that at one point we would need to eat each other, so yeah. it's good anyway. Oh hey! Did you see? How we got another... Uh, I did. Uh, something bonus. Yep. And now we have the... I like this one. Cause, uh, but although we are not very in a very dusty place. Do we want a boost to our moxie? Um, not yet. Let's get something else. Yeah. Money? Yeah, or mo more applicants? What do we want? Mm, I think money. Money. That's going to come in handy. Yes. Okay, so you can uh, see what uh, type of thing you will be researching by the icon. This one would be a most likely a bonus, and this one will be a new tech. Yeah. So we want a new tech. And these are called anomalies, and they're all over the surface. Yes. So as time goes on and you build your little... Uh, what yeah, are and you scan your sectors and then the anomalies are revealed. Yes. Yeah. Let me build a little... Because that reminds me to build an... Sensory tower. Ooh, exciting. So I sadly I don't have a autonomous sensor tower, because then my genius plan is to just take a little transport ship with all the necessary resources and then build a huge um, path of sensor towers, and then you'll get all of the anomalies super fast because you'll be able to scan the surface of Mars faster. Yep. Should we build some batteries as well to collect the energy? <laughs> this is true. <laughs> but we, we have no... Oh! No. Look at my geniusness. <laughs> I built this thing. Yep. Uh, a wind turbine. Very popular with our viewers. Yep. Uh, but it, you know what a wind turbine requires? Concrete. What do we not have? Concrete. <laughs> How long have you been playing this game? Not for a year. Let me build another thingy. Oh, we found mar uh, water. Excellent. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, fuck. It's over there. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to try to bring the next ship here. Because it's so... <laughs> yeah, it's otherwise it's so I annoying to maintain that whole line. It's crazy. You end up with like rovers just roaming this massive... I will build this one here. Yeah. Okay, so this is a very efficient uh, way of building things. Let me quickly actually boot up my stuff because this is not working. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. There it goes. So this one is better to build first because you only need metal. And as you can see, we have ev metal everywhere. And also initially in our ship, we had some metal. No, we didn't. That no. was in the second ship. Yeah. And we have concrete on the second one too. So. Yes. It won't be long. Soon the domination will start. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, here. Um, people want to see how close you can zoom in. Oh yeah. Okay. And you should give them a good look of the, uh, <laughs> <I also> <laughs> <laughs> the drones here, doing the drones. their stuff. 
the pearl of the game. Or so you dress. can zoom in pretty far. And yeah. it looks this is like how far you can zoom. Pretty in. sweet. See them working? Hard working drones. Yeah. But uh, I usually don't zoom in that closely, so I kind of forget. So you kind of have to remind me every once in a while to show off our little drones. Yeah. But now there's... Oh, wow, look at that massive crater. What? Where? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. I mean, Must one thing that I will say about this game, because I've been like playing it also, yeah. it's really beautiful. Like, yes. when you scroll around the map and you can you can basically cover the whole map in colonies yeah. and domes. And yes, but the thing is, just look at this. Oh, uh, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> it's so small, right? And you can have several domes in that little space. Imagine trying to colonize this whole map. I dare you, once you get the game. <laughs> I want to see someone colonize the whole map. Yep. Like, I want to know how far you can get. I bet you there'll be plenty of people that actually manage it. Oh, oh I'm pretty sure they can. Yep. But I haven't seen it yet. Uh, <gasps> and I want to know how fast they can do it. Yeah. The interesting thing is, as well, is that you can share your map coordinates with other people. So, th basically, they can play on the exact same map as you. And you can see how different your colonies turn out. Yes. Because everyone builds differently. Yeah, and you can share your f uh, save games as well if you want to. Yeah, we're getting some challenge accepted on chat. Oh, good. good. Daniel, ah. Fiona, nice. Did you see that meteor? We're in a good spot, people. We'll see many, many breakages of our stuff. Yep. Great, we chose a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good accomplishment. Yep. So we were supposed to also have lots of uh, freezing. Uh, which is not my favorite uh, disaster, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's because it's like really difficult. It's yep. it's really ugh. I like my life slightly challenging, but then I have to cheat. Am I allowed to cheat on stream? Um, if you really want to. I don't want to. <laughs> but well, I mean, I want I to. I would like to see you not cheat on the stream because I know that you can do it. You have more faith in my ability. Of course, than I, I do. do. You're going to do really great. Okay, so I'm going to give this guy uh, less importance because otherwise my little uh, thing will never... What am I doing? <laughs> You're increasing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so now he's getting all the power, <laughs> thank God. Um, Arwen says it's only cheating if we notice. No cheating. Yeah, but you will notice because I will pull up the cheating. Yeah, uh, it's, it's the screen. if you are going to cheat, everyone is going to. Yes, know. you will sadly see it. Yeah. It will never be in uh, incognito because you will have this whole interface of cheating. <laughs> the shame will be plastered all over the place. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> one person on chat says you're allowed to cheat on the stream, but the chat may be liable to roast you for it. Oh. Well. Just you wait until we have it very difficult. This is as much your play as my play. So if we fail, we fail well, together. If if we fail, or if things get really better, then you can make your cheat request to chat and we'll see what people say. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And then it's like, uh, what's that? Uh, let's be a millionaire. Yeah. You're like, I want a helpline. And then the, pa uh, <laughs> the chat but is like, oh, do this. I think you're going to be fine. There's no need to cheat. Uh -huh. that's, that's what I think every play is time. And then what happens? I cheat. <laughs> but I won't cheat, at least until it gets very, very difficult. Uh, but not in, on stream, because I don't want the shame to be plastered on screen. There will be much shame. I will shame you. <laughs> so will chat. <laughs> I feel the pressure already building. I feel the pressure. Okay, we can also try to build nice art for the artists in us. Yep. Does this look like art? It does. It looks like a man! Look! Actually, it's the nose and the mouth. One fantastic thing about the game as well, so when it actually is released, yeah. um, there's a photo mode. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, very nice. Which is really nice. You know, you can set filters and <laughs> do all kinds of awesome and stuff. And get the little photographer out. I, I tried to make uh, a fo uh, uh, nice pictures. I remember my teacher saying, oh, get the angles and get the accents and all of that. And he said many other things, but uh, uh, no. I have tried, and then you saw my promotional <laughs> pictures that I sent to you guys, and they have never been chosen. Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, oh, it's uh, advanced Let me have research. a look at some questions on chat. Okay. Hi. Will there be riots, pirates, and firearms, or can they be modded in? Also, what happens if you build all over the map and exhaust all the resources in the map if everything goes south? Cheat. Help just a bit. Can you show us the interface? Well, first of all, 
Um, the game is fully moddable, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can basically make the game whatever you want it to be. Yes. And uh, I'm sure some people are going to do some really creative stuff. Um, and even when it seems like you've exhausted all the resources, um, you won't have because there's ways to create yeah, there's resources. Ways to create resources. And, uh, so there is also, like for instance, I discovered one of the research points or technologies to have infinite small amounts of concrete. But there will be other ways as well, like uh, putting, uh, making your waste concrete. Or something, you know, like how we solve issues with resources in real life. Yeah. We have to be ingenious and make little, uh, what do you, what do you call that? Like wind energy and all of that, like um, something elements. sustainable. Yeah. Uh, I'm just throwing resources. around some. <laughs> I'm throwing around I'm just one like of those buzzwords. <laughs> <laughs> We're all the be sustainable. Words, whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Let me build another sensor tower because this. Map exploration is not fast as to my liking. Where do we want it? We uh, want this area? Or this people area? are talking about modding in chat. Um, ah. But yes, um, the game will be fully moddable. Yeah. And we're, you know, we've made it so that it does actually support modding. Yeah, and if you are, want a pirate level, please create the pirate level. Send it to us so that I can play the pirate level. Yeah, pirate level would be cool. Yes, you will be able to create it. You will be able to create your own sponsors, yep. uh, your own... With the, with the commander <laughs> profiles, your own buildings. What do you want? It's up to you. Be as creative as you want to be. Yeah. That's the mother's power. It is. It's a great power indeed. And then we say with a grave voice, with great power comes great responsibility, Luke. Um, I that think like I messed up that Spider-Man and Star Wars <laughs> all in one go. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> uh, 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 I don't think Yoda said that though. He was like, "Do it or do it not." Something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Quick, tell me the quote. <laughs> okay. What are we? Oh, Spider we Wars is a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> that was from Katazaran. <laughs> yeah. At least it will have more story than what was that? What was the Return of the Jedi or what was it? The recent one? Ugh. <laughs> did you not like it? No, I did not like Let's it. Let's not talk spoilers <laughs> just in case some people oh, oh, haven't oh. seen it. <laughs> oh. Okay, no spoilers. No spoilers. We don't want Just to in case. Look at this beautiful art. I call it Dada, which means anything can be art. And this is art. Yeah, it's kind of a post Mars modern. Post-Mars post, post post modern. Post-Mars <laughs> It's a new art movement. Oh, oh. Based I get Mars. waste here. So later on, if you are lucky enough to get that research, you'll be able to convert this into resources and you'll have a lot of waste. Yep. Just like humans do. Have you ever been to a waste place? But well, the waste. I got traumatized when I was a kid. The school brought us to this wasting place where they were trying to recycle it. Yep. And these guys were so depressing. They were like, we don't have a way to... Uh, uh, oh, I don't like the way this is said. We don't have a way to completely remove all of the waste. Uh, soon, our Earth will be full of waste. You tell that to a 10-year-old kid? Yeah. I, I recycle now. <laughs> I recycle too. I went to... We didn't go to a recycle thing, but we went to a um, water treatment plant, which is basically just sewerage, and it was just like the grossest, worst thing. Yeah, water? like floods uh. of it. It was awful Whoa. and like the people there also look depressed yeah <laughs> <laughs> unsurprisingly <Yeah. laughs> i came away from that i was like yep not what i want to do for but a it's job. pretty cool right <laughs> don't we drink our <laughs> but it is water cool. right yeah. back because it's mm -hmm. like recycled yeah i think so but uh all right I, I i think we had enough of these uh to we have used them up yeah well not used them up we have unloaded them so we need fuel we do we have Oh. Oh no! <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> Please do not make a cheat request already. <laughs> no! <laughs> but that was about, oh my god, that's so stupid! I I um I brought the second uh, what do you call it, rocket without having the fuel refinery in. Oh, to return? Yeah, so we have no fuel. Oh! Things got a lot interesting now, because now we won't, we don't, we can't. Marooned on Mars. Yes, we uh, until we 
uh, oh, that's uh, a little bit of a pickle. So we have to make sure that we get our, what do you call it, our fuel refinery researched somehow as fast as possible because we can't, this was our last rocket. We had two rockets. So and basically without <laughs> this research, we're screwed. We, we used it to get some <laughs> concrete. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yay! <laughs> okay, I have never had that. So time for time for some creative thinking. Yes, let's. Uh, <laughs> so now every every little resource counts. So I don't have that much of the machine parts. Let's see how much machine parts yep. I have. So um, twenty six. Yeah. <laughs> whilst oh my God, that's whilst not you're enough. dealing with this, <laughs> <laughs> that's not enough. Wow. Um, let's go for some chat stuff, shall we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I apologize if I say your name wrong. Um, Jean Luca Borg asks Can resources and materials or whatnot be sold to Earth to make more money to import stuff like e electronics? Yes. Yes. Um, you can get your colonists to mine rare metals and sell them back to Earth. Yes. Uh, I c was, we haven't discovered a rare metal, rare metal dip depot yet. No. But otherwise, I could. Sh uh, we p you plant a dome there and then and and you need the humans to mine it you can't you just use your drones um and but also you sometimes get more money if your um sponsor is happy with you i'm guessing our sponsor thinks not so fondly of us right now right now they're uh, they're okay because we're not uh, we haven't killed any humans yet but i'm thinking what am i like <laughs> i'm getting a tiny little bit of like what am i supposed to do now because i don't know how to do it <laughs> without the <laughs> okay let's think okay yeah so we need research, but we need then we need a lot of these little towers. Let's see, sensor tower. Okay, um. that only costs one metal. Okay, so we're gonna speed up the autonomous hub so that we can put autonomous hubs everywhere. Nice. Remember how I said that uh, uh, I did this little trick of going everywhere and building the autonomous hubs so that research went faster. Yeah. Well, we need to do that now because because <laughs> uh, we are in we have nothing anymore. Yep. Oh. That was such a stupid... I knew I was forgetting something. Well, <laughs> but you've, then re you've remembered now. Yeah. Um, excitement. Excitement <laughs> happens now. <laughs> what else have we got going on in chat? Um, Priyamaz says, do you have different spaceships in the game or we just use the same one as we already saw? So we have our rocket ships, but then there's also transporter yeah, ships Yeah, there's well. a shuttle. Yeah, like the a shuttle. shuttle. Uh, they look pretty cool. Yeah, I really like them. Mm. I can't uh, show you, of course, because it's not researched. We're not quite there yet. Nope. But when we, we are, are, we, are we have managed to get... <laughs> <laughs> we can build recharge, recharge towers for our little robots. How do you get your rockets back with fuel? Do you have a fuel maker? No. Nope. Do you need it? Yes. Why didn't you take it? Tell me. Reasons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we quick thinking. Yep. Oh, but I think this will work. Good. You will see mir miracles happen in the stream. Babies will be born from water. And we will have a rocket with fuel soon. Yep. Hopefully. It's all going to be fine. <laughs> but hey, we discovered water. So there's that. Yeah, that's true. We can uh, build a little uh, water thing. But the thing is... We can build a dome. We can build a dome. We can do that. Yeah, we can. Yeah, but the, the, but then do we, we have use all of our we'll resources. Yeah. And we, we have... We no need that for the fuel refinery. Yeah. So let's uh, wait that one out. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, we need to have these people working. Let me get these guys away and working. Let's, let's have them working. Oh, do you hear the little music? That's the radio. Yeah, there's lots of different radio channels with different types of music, so it's not just this type of music. There's country music, there's kind of instrumental, Marsy. Oh type wait, I can music. speed up the time even more. That was I forgot. Okay, so let's. Uh, oh, anomalies. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Where's the little uh, explorer guy? Anomalies, anomalies. Oh, there it is. Let's research. Come on. Um, let's have a look. Let me put some map yep. action. We are releasing in spring. We are not releasing the release date yet, but it will be coming out in spring. It's a little egg with a surprise. <laughs> That's where spring is, right? Yep. It is. It will be the happiest spring of your life. Yep. And we're not just releasing on PC. It will be released. Oh, no, no, no. It will be a yep. sim ship. We have felt 
the pains of the sim ship. Exactly. So, so it will be a sim ship. And on console. Yes. So Very you will cool. be if you're a console player, you will enjoy this. Oh, we will actually. Yeah. Well, n yeah. next week you're going to show it off on console. Yes. I actually played it on console the other day, and uh, on PS4. Yeah. And I had a really good time. It was really yeah. easy to use. Very intuitive. It's huge. The screen is huge. Well, Plus, I mean, yeah, the TV here screen. is massive. Yeah. So <laughs> then, um, I prefer the massive screen. Of course, no. we oh. all do. New texts are available. Do it we is have something? I think I can honestly say that it's just as fun on console as it is on PC. Yeah, the uh, uh, amount of fun is the same, but the uh, art, uh, if you have it in huge screen, just like movies, who goes to a little cinema with the little screen? It's true. I, I actually, I watch a lot of movies on my mobile phone for some reason. <laughs> so, in answer to that, you do. Yes. Yeah. But I'm, uh, I'm easy to please, so it's okay. Yes, okay, we have a next research thing. Go, go, Gadget. Um, so, Homlikan asks, go, what is go, the goal gadget. with this game? What challenges are there? The goal is to make Mars your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say that? <laughs> well, you just did, so yes. Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> but uh, you're but supposed to colonize Mars yeah. and um, get uh, humanize. Uh, what do you call it? Humanize it? Make a uh, there. You there. There's oh wait, that is what colonize means. Yeah, no, you're supposed to colonize Mars, um, make the planet your own, survive the many disasters that are there waiting for you. Um, it's about English building speak. and uh, and survival. <laughs> so, yes. and there are plenty of things to survive, and it's also to discover the various mysteries that are on offer, which we can't talk about yet. We got a drone hub. <laughs> We're under strict instructions not to go into mysteries. No. You'll have to wait for that. Yeah. Or get the game for that. Ooh. Uh, cold cold wave. Soon the cold wave. Cold wave. The cold wave will start. <laughs> and what the cold wave does is that it drains your yeah. energy and it disables several buildings. So things like the, uh, uh, the water container will be frozen and sometimes even your buildings can start to freeze and your colonists will start complaining about hyperthermia. Um, I, d I heard that you can die of hyperthermia in just being in a place. I only thought you die of hyperthermia when you go into the water. No, no, so you can. Yeah. Your colonists complain about hyperthermia, so you have to take care of them. Yeah, and just to quickly answer a question, Yes, um, everything will be sim shipped at the same time, so it will be released on console and PC at exactly the same time. Yes. And Aren't we glorious? Yeah, it's it's so exciting. I actually am so desperate for it to come out so yeah. people can play. So I can yeah, see I, I really want to know. I want to know what everybody <laughs> thinks. I mean, uh, you can like your own game all the t all what do you call it all you want, but the real hand comes from the crowd. It's like doosh. You <laughs> thought this game was good. <laughs> That's what the crowd is. Yep. I mean, we're kind of we biased. You. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are. We are kind of biased. Yeah, but, but I really like this game. It is so much fun. Like, yes. sometimes you mask it yourself. Mask yeah. yourself. Like I play it at home because I'm having so much fun with it. Yeah, I did that as well. Yeah. But now I have so much. Is a free time at work. D don't watch this Jürgen, I, I'm sure he doesn't, but yeah. Jürgen is my boss. <laughs> okay, uh, so this is not going fast enough. <laughs> what do you do when you're stranded on Mars? Um, question, will we be able to spread our base to other sectors on Mars? That's what does see. other sectors mean? I guess it means... Uh, like larger than this map? Yeah. Oh, believe me, Let first make sure that you have this map c all covered, Covered, but it takes a while, but no, this is your map. Yeah, exactly. This yeah. is your map, but then you can restart a new game and pick another sector oh, to, to land on and create a new map. So basically, it's the repel oh, I can't speak, the replayability of it is kind of endless. Yes, and yeah. each time you can have a different mystery, different sponsor, different researchers. Diffi different difficulty. And did I not tell you where there is ice, there is water? You did. And there's two waters, but I, I'm not going to build there. No. Nope. They're going to leach off <laughs> all of my electricity. 
<laughs> we need the fuel. Yes. When? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you see this? This, yep. my ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a cold front. So now, if we had humans, they would start complaining. They'd be like, oh, and uh, now this thing consumes eight. I think originally it's supposed to consume like, wait, oh, hey, hey, it says it. 60% more. Somebody that knows maths, do the counting. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna count on, on no, the screen. Me then you'll know how bad I am at counting. Um, right. We're being finish. asked if shuttles or spacecrafts can crash land and what will happen if this happens to people and if it hits a dome. Sorry? Can shuttles crash land on Mars? Uh, no. Not, no, not, no, not, no. Not at the moment. Not at the moment, no. No. I can't see. But, you know, oh, you fuck. can have horrible things happen to your domes, like meteors crashing into it and that destroying the oxygen and so on. Yeah, but like, uh, for instance, if there's a dust storm or whatever, your shuttle can't yeah. come onto the uh, Martian surface or take off. So that stuff does happen. Yeah. But why would you want your shuttle to break? That would be bad. What is the matter? Um, Nisty1 oh, asks, nice. can you build separate bases with like their own power supply instead of being connected to the main base? You can buy and um, you can build like wherever you want. Wherever you want. And you can, um, your domes can be in the same area as each yeah. other or so thing, yeah. If you if you feel adventurous, you can be like, my next rocket is gonna land here, and then you can uh, 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 connect them later with shuttle hubs yeah. or tunnels. But that's all to you. You are God in this world, actually in every world. Yeah. That makes. Um, okay, so the ra reason why I'm zooming a lot and it's going up a lot is because I want to, to yes, get these little babies. See where I can scan some more. You see, you see how fast my scanning goes now. You're amazed at my scanning power. I am. Your scanning power is like the Flash. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm. I heard that Siri is good. It is. I I like it. It's a bit cheesy. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> I don't like it. I've seen you gifted. I wish I didn't see it. <laughs> oh shit, man. Do we want to b build on this cold cold thing? Because I remember this being a cold area. It is a cold area. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> What do we want? Where do we... Okay, oh, sorry for the incessant zoom-ins. No, nope, that's fine. Do we have the autonomous hubs yet? No. Oh, almost. <gasps> Look, ladies and gentlemen. Almost. Nice. Come so, uh, let me do some... Yeah, there's only so much I can do while... Uh, well, why don't you zoom in and let's check out some stuff whilst you're... Oh yeah. uh, let's do that. While we wait. What's this drone up to? Oh. Yay! What do we want? Woo! Two... Drone haps, prefabs. Nice. Do we want that? Yes. Of course we want that. <laughs> Moisture evaporators. Or get 200 million funding. <sighs> Who wants that? Because this <laughs> is Europe. Europe is kind. I'm not sure real Europe is kind, but... Well, they're kind to us. No, right they now. are. They are. <laughs> but you won't be a European anymore. What? Oh, don't look at me <laughs> like that. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm Swedish now. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> I've renounced. I've moved here. But you have to wait. Is, uh, okay. <laughs> Let me see where this is a sore spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll build one here. Plus, who knows what's going to happen? Everyone seems crazy. Armageddon. Yep. Okay, so let's get some little metal. Ooh. Let's get some electronics. Yep. Ooh, and then hopefully. Oh yes, more anomalies. An anomalies. Okay, so now, ladies and gentlemen, you will see the glorious thing that is called autonomous hubs. Uh, of course, I need also my minions to come here and build some stuff. So yeah. now I will make a little, uh, sorry, a little thing of a row of aut autonomous sensors, so that they won't need my maintenance. They won't need nothing, uh, no energy. So I can just poop them everywhere. And then have everything super fast censored. And then I'll have all of these little things. And then, what do you call fuel refinery? Nikki's bitch. Yep. We can't say that? Still no? You can say whatever you want. Oh yeah, kind right. of. <laughs> I won't. Uh, oh, look look how fast it's built. Because that's how we roll. The fast and the furious. Nice. Right. That was like my taxi driver last night. Uh, was he? Yeah, oh, he was... Dangerous. Uh, dangerous. I was coming back from the airport last night and he was driving like a maniac. 
And he was just like, do you know what? I think we can make this in half the time than usual. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was just like, five minutes later, I was like, oh. <laughs> As I'm being like swished around in the car. I don't like, uh, I used to like going fast with the car. And then I was in a car accident. Mm, and then good. afterwards, well, I wasn't in a car accident. I saw my sisters being in a car accident. And then afterwards I was like, frick, no, I don't want to. No. But uh, uh, I've noticed that this mouse is incredibly sen uh, sensitive. So that's why I keep zooming in all the time uh, when I touch this little roll. roll, roll you roll. should uh, bring your own mouse next time. Yeah, w uh, well, I mean, we can slower the sensitivity of this one next yeah. time. I could do that, because uh, let's go on the next s little sensor. Ooh -ho. Oh, new tech available for research? Is it oh. going to be... We oh, fungus. This is a building, fungal farm. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you have it outside of your dome, so you don't waste space inside. Great. For And you can use it for other things. And uh, you'll have lots of food. But it also accompany, uh, it comes with you have to research some certain food that will then grow a lot. So I'm not gonna invest in this one because it has a lot what of. What food is it? Everything. It could be everything. I, I had this weird grass type of thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, you need to discover other things to have that one uncover uh, un unresearched. I love the quote by Terry Pratchett that was alongside that. That all fungi are edible. Some fungi are only edible once. Who's Terry Pratchett? Terry Pratchett. He wrote the Discord novels. Did you ever read this? No. You should read them, they're really funny. But, uh, I, okay, I will, uh, do you have the books? I do. Oh, you can borrow it to me. <laughs> oh, no, 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 why are you, what am I doing? Oh. Here you see a human struggle with playing. You see how fast it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. This is what we call speed. <laughs> the best kind. <gasps> ah! We're saved! Praise yes. the Jesus! <laughs> Praise the Lord! <laughs> research it! Yes! <laughs> so now we're gonna research this. Yep. Because then we will have our fuel refinery and then we finally can go off of the rock dam <laughs> Martian surface. <laughs> so Elon Musk. We can Musk, get the things we need. Yeah, if Elon Musk ever watched this, this is how not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's too busy sending a car into space. So. <laughs> a car? Yeah. Why would you send a car into space? He's sending one of his, I think, Tesla cars, um, which is going to be playing David Bowie the whole time as it launches into space. But why not something useful? I know not why people make these decisions. <laughs> but I that say is this what's happening. As a game developer, while well, he is trying to further humanity, I have I have noticed my lack of what do you call it usefulness on this earth when I say it like that. Yeah. So I will I will not talk bad about the the Elon. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. more more anomalies, but uh, now do we need it ladies and gentlemen? Do we do we want the anomalies now that we have our little Fuel refinery. Fuel, uh, what we ha we well, don't we have, don't it, have yet. it yet, but we <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we're on our way. <laughs> but we can start building other things in preparation for the fuel refinery. Yeah. Uh, like the water. Let we me should definitely do that. Yes. Uh, this one works during cold fronts, so um, we can start building this one. <laughs> Hala87 says, just don't build the fuel refinery before the meteor storm is over. Oh, why? Well, I'm guessing he's worried that it will get hit by a meteor. And oh yeah, yeah, big chance. Mm. Yep, it starts soon. But the thing is, you can uh, fix it. You can fix your fuel refinery. Yep. Way we have a rare metal deposit. Now we can see where that is. So, if you build a dome here and a rare metal factory here and have some humans, they will be able to mine this, and you'll be able to send it back to Earth, yep. so that they can then give you money mm -hmm. and fund you some more. If people get nauseous of the zooming in and zooming out, do they? I don't know. Are you getting nauseous, chat? I think it's okay. It's not too bad, in okay, my opinion. because I'm kind of getting nauseous. <laughs> well, if you're getting nauseous, stop zooming in and out then. Um, but uh, I need to strategize. 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 Yes. Yeah. Um, apparently, Elon Musk is sending his car because it's like a test payload, which makes 
sense and it's kind of an interesting creative way to test things uh, he wants to test the car or no it's like a test payload so like instead of say concrete or like in terms of weight and stuff <laughs> i'm not convinced man <laughs> well let's just trust that he knows what he's doing because i'm sure he does i'm sure he does but a car that's a great marketing strategy though it I'll is. tell you that. Um, right. Let's, Let's see, see what else we've got going on. Tell us. Tell us some questions. I have all the... <laughs> I have none of the answers, <laughs> but I can... I can guess a lot. Yeah. Uh, so, Flipping Beat says, Will there be non-Martian disasters which can affect your economy? Or a Stellaris-like endgame crisis? Well, what um, I think non or does that mean out of space? Yeah, I think they mean, will there be things that happen on Earth that will affect, you know, so like, affect our sponsors, affect whether yes, we get uh, money. Now we enter territory, what we can't talk about. Yes. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm actually not sorry at all. This keeps the suspense up. It does. More on that one day. Yes, one day. Yeah. That's the mystery day. Good question, Winky though. eyes. <laughs> I'm not going to attempt the real wink that would look horrifying for everyone. I kind of now really want to see it. No. Do it. No, it's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> wink. You know how some people just wink and it looks super sexy? Yeah. I'm not one of those people. Me either. No, it's like... I wink and I just look like I'm having some kind of <laughs> epileptic <laughs> fit. <laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> exactly. I'm just like, oh, that was supposed to be funny. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Where are we? We're here. Okay, what do you do? Okay, so now we're gonna go back because these guys need their energy. Yep, so once we've got our food, oh, I can't speak, fuel refinery, uh, what are we up to after that? Then uh, we start building, because then we can actually have, uh, what do you call it, some doming resource planning thing <laughs> ready. I last time read that somebody was annoyed by my lack of English, and I was like, That's a bit harsh. Well, no, I mean, uh, like, <laughs> it is true. The amount of times people have told me stop calling things thingy, because I can't think of it. But that happens when you ha are speaking several languages at once. Oh, you might want to charge one of your vehicles. Yeah, I'm, uh, he's currently on its way. Cool. Will he survive? Will he survive? He can Let do it. What what should we call him? Hmm. He's a rover. I yeah. I could I like to call them slave drovers because they're like rover, and then drones. Nice. Slave drovers. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Aren't we clever? <laughs> that is some genius naming. Right there. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> yeah, and as Derpy Warrior says, thingy is English for everything. Yeah, exactly. So you're fine. Yes, but uh, p other people don't understand me, so I have to give them context. <laughs> So this one is depleted. If I had the uh, awesome technology where I could forever dig, I would have forever dug. But sadly we don't, so we have to build another one of these. Yeah. And destroy this one first. Thank you. Goodbye, sweet concrete machine. We loved you. <laughs> All that you brought to us. No! <laughs> we don't have that researched. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, it's being researched now. It's underway. Nice. Okay, so then let's get another concrete place. So if you're wondering what happened here, I have the power to destroy this, but uh, my drones are not uh, smart enough to, what do you call it, pull it apart yeah. into resources to yet. break it down. Yeah, so we need to give them that knowledge by researching that. Oh! What? What? <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> You did not see that? Delete. Delete everything. <laughs> I I cannot even <laughs> the say shame. anything. The shame. So I'm used to back in the days. The, the fuel refinery <laughs> used to be in this <laughs> screen. But it's in this screen. So we did have a fuel refinery. So it was all false alarm. But we did do some creative thinking. Don't you think? I think we did some creative thinking. I think we did creative thinking. Yes, thank you. And creative researching. 
Yes. And we got to see how those worked. Yeah, so you, uh, even if you get stuck by doing something very smart at the beginning, then you still have ways to... Fix it. Yes, fix it. Yeah. Then we you did a good job. Oh, I like this song, by the way. Yeah? I like this song. Are you going to sing along to it? You were singing along to the songs earlier. It's very interesting. One slow <laughs> song. <laughs> she sings so sensually, and I'm trying to attempt <laughs> the sensualness. <laughs> so, Where am I? Oh, <laughs> we did not manage to build a dome on this stream. Oh, is it um, already over? No, we oh. have five minutes left. No! But I'm <laughs> giving I you a heads so up. I am so sorry, people. <laughs> Next time you'll see something more exciting than me trying to think a way of getting out of a pickle that was actually not a pickle. <laughs> Next time, though. Next time. But until then, we can sing one slowly time. <laughs> is that what she's saying? Yep. Yeah, I think she is. Just what you need for building on Mars. A good music and a shovel. Okay, now we can build the dome. Let's start the dome phase already. I mean, uh, not the dome yeah. phase. Just I'm for next time. Oh, it's like a little cliffhanger. What they do with series. Exactly. Our little cliffhanger is we put the dome down. Is it near enough to water? Yes. There it is. Nice. So our, we have this guy taking yep. care of our for everything. All the things. Uh, and yeah, this won't be enough for the dome. So let's build the water. <laughs> okay. Perfection. Look, if we squeeze our eyes shut, we can see Illuminati. It's going to look really good. Yes. Uh, I, I was trying to make a... Oh, next time are we going to do our little challenge to see how quickly we can get a baby born? Oh, yeah. I almost managed it. Did you? No. I think it took me longer because oh. I didn't notice the... Okay, I, I, uh, I'm I sorry for this zooming. Or maybe I'm more irritated by the zooming than you guys are. I think so. No one else is complaining. Yeah, it's the cow fingers, man. <laughs> the I cow, cow fingers? Yeah, I have cow <laughs> you do not have cow fingers. So these not are cow, cow fingers. cow fingers. Yeah, but they, they stamp like a cow. No, they don't. They do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> You're too harsh on yourself. I'm, getting, I'm putting this one a bit close to the... That's not close uh, to the thing so that he can re regenerate. Yep. Meanwhile, what do we have? Our little dooms are just starting to fuel. Mm -hmm. uh -huh! Six. Only a few. Could you oh, only 40 because we, of course, had half the load. Yeah. We are so smart thinking ahead. <laughs> it's all in the plan, ladies and gentlemen. It's like uh, when they have those soap series where they put this random person that gets pregnant halfway <laughs> and then it turns out to be the baby brother sister whatever you know yeah mutants on mars yes <laughs> oh i can't <laughs> wait man seriously if, if there are really good models out there and they make this full-on like halloween mode or m like more uh, zombies on mars yeah that zombies would be on cool. mars everything i would love that then we can can we play Players mods as long as as long as it's not using any licensed IPs. I don't see why we couldn't. Oh, well. yeah. so don't use licensed IPs. If you use it, be creative like us and call it Space Y. <laughs> then you can just use it. Well, on that wonderful note, no, our time we don't is up. Go. Sorry. No. <laughs> Next time we'll be better. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. It was awesome. Oh yeah, and happy new year. Yes, happy new year.